Imagine a new employee walks into his first day on the job feeling excited and ready to hit the ground running. He is already familiar about the new workplace, who the team members are and have a solid understanding of what's expected from his role. And the best part, all of this happened even before he officially started. Yes, that's the power of pre-boarding. Hello everyone, welcome to HR Administ. In this video, I'm going to show you how this simple yet an effective strategy can set your employees up for the success from day one itself. Why you should focus on pre-boarding activity when you already have implemented a creative and unique onboarding plan for your new joiners. The line between the onboarding and pre-boarding is quite blurry and a lot of companies use them interchangeably or only focus on onboarding activities. But even if you have got a great onboarding process in your organization, you are likely leaving a lot on table in your pre-boarding process. When a candidate interviews at your company, it's natural they will be applying to other companies too. And when things click, you will be ready to send your job offer letter. While it leaves the candidate feeling content and accomplished, chances are they are still open to other offers as well and curious how they compare to yours. Some people get excited during the interview stage and with that they accept the job offer. But as time passes, they often come across with doubts like, what if I'm making a wrong decision? Is this where I see myself working in coming years? Maybe I should quit my current job. So you as an employer or as an HR can eliminate few of these negative feelings by some of your pre-boarding activities only. So instead of sending out some official paperwork to your fresh recruits, try to make them feel inclusive and engaged throughout your pre-boarding. Recruitment is itself an extensive process which holds a lot of responsibilities and adding pre-boarding to it can give an additional burden to the team but in the end it can save a lot of time and efforts in order to streamline the process and to keep a hold on your valuable candidates. Here is the list of few common benefits of having pre-boarding activities for your fresh recruits. Now this diagram represents the list of six creative pre-boarding strategies that you can implement in your organization. Every company has the monthly or so newsletters update and sending out those to upcoming candidates by highlighting the organization's achievements, awards and success can build a special repo about the company. Second strategy says that sending out a short survey about their experience on recruitment process of your company can reinforce the fact that you care for them at every step. This can also help your recruitment team to work on the negative points if any. Third point says that there should be regular check-ins by the designated HRs, making calls in defined intervals to analyze how they are feeling after receiving the offer letter and to address the concerns if they have any. You can also focus on developing a new higher FAQs that can be used across all the departments the certain suggestions to design your FAQs can be like uh, what are the working hours, what kind of parking facilities are there within the premises, what is the canteen facility or uh, what kind of culture is there in the organization and many such questions that a normal employee can have. You can share a list of pre-boarding and onboarding FAQs with your new hires even before they join. So the sooner it is to their joining, the more beneficial it will be. The fourth strategy says that uh, inviting them to be a part of your employee connect on monthly basis to make them understand the company culture before they move in. You can also engage them in corporate and social activities or any similar activity to make them understand that the business is investing in community and involve employees in charity events. Also, sending out occasional wishes or maybe birthday wishes to the upcoming candidate can create healthy impression and a way to stay in touch. Under fifth strategy, you can plan and arrange connect with the department head to which he or she is hired, which can help them to have better understanding about their role, expectations and progress. 
preferably plan this meeting to be face to face the last and the most effective strategy is that you can encourage your new hires to take control over their first impression through a personalized introductory video this act as a great conversation starter amongst your new hires and existing colleagues having something to talk about besides work will bring your people closer which will visibly impact their productivity moving on to the steps to make this process an achievement first you need to define and plan your pre boarding engagement steps which means you need to prepare a checklist which will define what all steps you are going to follow in the process then you need to define about the time interval into each step that is which step is to be conducted when and what is the time gap between each step after this you should prepare a tracker mentioning all the details like which step is completed when is the next step due and what is your feedback about the candidate upon your discussion next is that you should have all the details of the candidates handy with you because this will be helpful for you to define the strategies for that particular candidate and to address his or her queries whenever asked therefore by summarizing this video i would say that pre boarding is a structured process to get people productive and settle in into the new working environment well there you have it a concise overview of the pre boarding strategies of course if you think i have missed any information please do share it in the comment section and don't forget to like share and subscribe the video and also hit the bell icon so that you receive all the notifications on time